Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my empties and low buy update for the month of January 2023. In these videos, I discuss what products I used up for the month, what came in to my home throughout the month and what that means to my low buy balance. I've been on a low buy for 19, 20, 21, 22, four years now. And basically it's a modified two out, one in policy. So I keep track of what comes in and what goes out and I award myself points based on what goes out and I charge myself two points for everything that comes in. The goal is to reduce my overall stash collectively. All of my beauty products, whether that's nail polish, which needs to be redone. My nails are looking really rough right now. Body care, skin care, face care, hair care, makeup, and things like that. So let's get into it. I actually did finish a hair care product over the past month. It is a sample that I've probably received in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. I have been trying to work my way through some of my hair care products because the truth is the only thing I really use or feel like I need is a hair oil on the days that I wash my hair. But other than that, I really don't put anything, any product in my hair. So for somebody who doesn't really put any product in their hair, I have a lot of hair care stashed away in a cabinet. And so I pulled this one out. This is the Pureology Serious Color Care Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. <sighs> that doesn't tell me a lot about what this is. But what I did was I sprayed this into my dampened hair uh, again on the days that I washed it and that was it. It didn't take too long for me to get through this little bottle and I'm really glad it's out. It's not something I feel like I would buy a full size of after having tried the sample. But again, I'm a simple girl when it comes to hair care. Let's move on to perfume. I have three minis from my advent calendar right here. I have Flora by Gucci. Premier Jour, Jour, Jour by Nina Ricci, and I have Cool Water by Dardoff. I spelled my thoughts out pretty clearly on my last advent calendar update, so I'm not going to go into that here. But um, I have decided that once I finish 10 of these little samples, I will give myself a half point towards my low buy bank. And so we got three down, seven to go. Let's move on to body care. I have two empties. One is this Bath & Body Works Rice Flour and Shea Body Cream. Really happy to have this gone. Like the scent. It's an old one. As far as I know, it's not currently being sold at Bath & Body Works, but I am trying to work my way through the older products in my inventory, many of which are really old, and this is one of them. So happy to have one less body lotion, even though it was a good one. And I also finished this Gold Bond Healing Aloe sample. I don't know where this came from, but I actually really like this as a hand cream. I put this on at nighttime just on my hands before I went to bed and it worked really well. My hands have been on the drier side over the past month and needing a little extra love throughout the day. So I have been using hand creams and for the last like 10 months, I haven't used a hand cream, but something about January, my hands get really dry. The air just must dry up in January and that's when I need to start using some extra protection on my hands and this was actually a good hand cream even though I believe this has been in my body lotion inventory all along. So another body lotion out of my inventory. I have three empties for face. This is the Kula Refreshing Water Cream. This is a product that was sent to me I believe through Influencer and I really enjoyed it. It had a pretty blue color. It had a really awesome pump. The First time I ever saw one of these pumps was on a Drunk Elephant product. So I do kind of associate this pump with like luxury products. Um, I would 100% purchase a full size of this in the future. Kula, these Kula products are on the pricier side. They're not cheap, but I thought it was a nice uh, SPF. It does have SPF of 50, which I like for daytime moisturizers and... Um, it worked well under my makeup and I really enjoyed it. And it is on my wish list at Ulta because I do believe this is still being sold at Ulta. I also finished two products from Geology. 
a couple of months ago, I was contacted by the owner of this brand and she offered to send me out a handful of products to try out and review. Overall, I've been really impressed with this entire line and I've continued to use it after completing my review. This is the Everyday Face Wash. I was sent two of these and this is the one that I was keeping in my shower and I finished the eye cream. Again, I liked both of these products very much. I would highly recommend the brand Geology if you're interested in a simple, basic skincare line. Nothing too fancy, um, but does the job and does it well. I really enjoyed these products and they are pretty affordable. So um, I am now receiving emails pretty regularly from this company. And even though they're not sold at Ulta and I like to shop Ulta for the points, I would consider purchasing more products from this company through their website because they're just simple and good and that's all I want. Okay, the last area I wanna talk about are the makeup empties I finished. Um, and there's quite a few here, so that's always exciting. Makeup is a little bit more exciting than anything else. I finished the setting powder. This container is an old CoverGirl container that I've had probably since the 90s and I like it so much but what was actually in here was an elf mineral uh, loose powder like a foundation powder and I used that up I it was a surprise pan I originally pulled it out for project 10 uses so my intention was to just use this product for 10 uses last year and I never put it away I just kept working on it and you know, it didn't get finished off by the time I did my inventory, but it is gone now and uh, I can't believe it. I didn't see that coming. I am going to refill this container with another e.l.f. mineral foundation because I have two more of them and I just love this packaging. This lid is just the perfect lid for just dumping a little bit of powder, swirling it around with a brush, tapping it off and applying it. So um, I will continue to use this uh, container, but I have officially finished one of my e.l.f foundations and uh it was a good color match for me for this winter time of year when i'm at my when i'm at my palest i have a couple of brow products i actually received both of these brow products at the same time they were another uh it was another influencer vox box and it was from anastasia beverly hills i finished the brow whiz and the clear brow gel I liked both of these products very, very much. I would 100% purchase both of them again if they were on sale for 50% off. I don't think I would pay the full price, but for 50% off, which it does go on sale for pretty regularly throughout the year, I would definitely repurchase these. As you may know, I have switched to using a brow pomade, which is what's in my brows now. And so I'm probably not gonna need another brow product for, you know, the next five years or so, but once I do need another brow product eventually, I would absolutely consider buying these two again. I really like the ABH uh, Clear Brow Gel, and this was kind of my first experience really with a, a nice pencil, but I, I would keep using it for sure. I finished this Smashbox setting spray. This is the, it's actually called a primer water. This is the Air Photo Finish Primer Water. And what made it the air scent was the scent of geranium and melon. I bought this as a two pack at uh, TJ Maxx, um, the Christmas before last, I believe, around the holiday time. And I thought the sprayer on these bottles was lovely. I really, really liked the sprayer. I didn't have any strong feelings one way or the other about the actual setting spray, but the sprayer on these has a wonderful fine mist. And I'm definitely going to keep these around to refill other products that don't have as nice of a mister on them into these bottles because it was quite a lovely experience. And my final empty for the month of January is a lip balm. This is my Cherry Vanilla Lip Balm with an SPF of 15 from Bath & Body Works. This was a lovely product. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. I dug out as much as I felt like digging out. Once I got to that little plastic piece, I thought, okay, we're done. But um, this was another old product. <laughs> And so regardless of how much I like it, if it's old, I'm happy it's gone because I'm trying to use up the older products in my stash so that as I'm doing my inventory, I'm not flashing everybody 15 year old products that everybody thinks I should have thrown away a long time ago. So really happy to have this one gone, but I enjoyed it very much. It was a nice lip balm. And actually what I really liked about this lip balm was that this was the perfect lip balm to wear under liquid lipsticks. 
I know a lot of people say if a liquid lipstick is super uncomfortable, put on a lip balm first, but I've tried certain lip balms that just kind of make, turn the formula of the liquid lipstick into a really weird, uncomfortable, gross consistency. This didn't do that. This was a really good lip balm to put on under liquid lipsticks. And um, that was really good to know. I am currently working on a lip oil, which probably would not work well under a liquid lipstick, but this was really good under liquid lipsticks. So those are all of my empties for the month in total. Let me count them up. In total, there are 14 empties, which is pretty good. I'll take it. A little bit out of every category left for this month. And again, a lot of older products. So always happy. Even if newer stuff is coming in, I'm really happy to have the older stuff going out. So 14 empties is good. Now let's move on to my low buy update. I'm kind of dreading this, not gonna lie. It's gonna be a rough one, guys. Just prepare yourself, buckle up with your seatbelts because the ride is about to begin and it's gonna be bumpy. Okay, as of last month, my low buy balance was at a negative 96.5 points. I wanna puke a little bit in my mouth when I say that out loud, but that is the truth. That's what we're dealing with. My goal is to have zero or more points never negative. And I have chronically been in the negative for months and months and months. And um, a lot of you guys have offered ways for me to give myself a pass on these things. And I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the sweetest, but there is no passes for this. We are staying accountable. The goal is to have more going out than coming in. And that's not really what's happening here. So we are going to talk about it. Um, so my balance for last month was negative 96.5. I am going to give myself six points towards my low buy bank for today. I am going to give myself a half point for these two products, the gold bond lotion and the hair product. Plus I'm going to give myself a full point for the full size body lotion, the lip balm, the foundation powder, and the two brow products. So that totals six points towards my low buy bank, which would bring me to a updated balance of negative 90.5 points. The question is, did anything new come in? And the answer is yes, yes. Lots of new things came in over the past month, most of which were gifts or um, products sent to me for review. But one thing I purchased and I, I wanna say I don't regret it, because I'm excited to own it, but I, with a low buy balance at negative 90.6, I do kind of regret it. Nonetheless, it happened, so let's talk about it. The product I bought myself was a three pack of these Tarte uh, Maracuja, let me pull it out because I can't remember, Juicy something. Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps. There were three of them. These are full-size products. It came in this package, which was a complete set. I saw this on my local Buy Nothing group. No, I saw this on a local uh, Buy Sell trade group and a neighbor who I know was selling it. Um, and I, I, I bought it. It was a steep discount. She was selling it for $15. So basically I got these three sticks for $5 a piece as, as a, as a, desperate plea to get you to see I have self-control. She did sell another one shortly after for just $5 a single, and I passed on that one. But um, I, I, for some reason, couldn't pass on this. So I'm really in love with this formula. I love the whole uh, stick gloss product. So this is plastic and the stick gloss is in there and it just gives like a high shine pigmented color. I really like these products. I've kind of fallen in love with them and I bought these three. So that's three products that came in. I also was sent a foundation for review through Influencer. This is a Lancome Tent, Tent Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow in the shade 31N. This, is, this claims to be a medium coverage. The way I like to apply it is very, very sheer. So it's more of a light coverage the way I apply it. And one of the reasons I apply light coverage is because this is just a shade too dark for me right now. And so I didn't want it to be full coverage, but I've really been enjoying this product. Um, I have a demonstration on Instagram of how it looks when I apply it in that sheer light coverage way. 
and I did not need another foundation, but I'm always excited to receive a foundation for review. But this is counting against my low buy as well. A product that I'm not counting against my low buy is a product I received from Clarins and Skeepers. This is the Extra Firming Youthful Lift Neck Care. It's a neck cream. I've never owned a specific product for the neck. I usually just put whatever I put on my face down on my neck a little bit before I go to bed. But this product is specifically de designed for the neck and I really have been enjoying it. This has really nice packaging. It just twists up like this and then it squeezes out and then you twist it back down when you're done. It has a nice scent, like a slightly sweet scent that I really enjoy smelling all night while I'm sleeping. And, um, I don't know. My neck looks all right. I'm using neck creams more as a preventative at the moment than like damage control. I don't feel like my neck has undergone a ton of damage, but I do try to keep a product on my neck at night while I sleep to prevent the signs of aging or sun damage uh, before it's happening. So um, I'm not too concerned about the condition of my neck at this point, but I do like to use these kind of products as prevention care. So um, I'm not gonna count any points against my low buy for this, but I did receive it for review and I've been enjoying it very much. I will have information about this product as well as the Lancome product linked down below if you're interested in finding out more about these products. Another product that was sent to me for review is this serum. This is a super renewing collagen peptide complex serum from Bauer Beauty. I don't know if it's the owner or a representative from the company reached out to me through Instagram and offered to send me this product. Um, and I said, sure. And at the time I wasn't really counting serums against my low buy for the past two years. I haven't been counting serums against my low buy, but my serum category has gone way too high and I need to bring it down again. So I am going to charge myself points against my low buy for this coming in because I need to get that category under control. And if I don't start charging points, there's no consequence. This was a lovely product. It's another very thin, thin, thin serum. Um, it's like water. It's almost like a, an essence rather than a serum. Very thin, watery product. Um, almost no smell that I can notice at all. Works great. For a long time, I didn't have any opinions about serums. I just kind of used them because I felt like I should, and I would rather have them and use them even if I didn't really know it, notice any difference with them than not use them. But because I've been able to try out so many serums for review over the last couple of years, I do have some opinions about these different serums. And a serum like this that's super thin and watery, I prefer to use in the summertime, and I prefer to use in the daytime. I like something more heavy and thick for nighttime use, um, but I have been enjoying this product and it will be great in the summer or during the daytime before I put on makeup. The last two products that came in to my life over the past month were both gifted to me. This is a body scrub from Scentsy and Bright Cider Life. This was gifted to me by my aunt at Christmas time. I haven't tried it yet. It's not a foaming body scrub. You guys know I prefer foaming body scrubs, but, and it's sealed still. Let me crack it open and smell it. It's a sugar scrub. Mm, yep, smells like fall. So even though it's not a foaming body scrub, I do still want to try it out and see what I think about it. Um, my aunt is a big fan of Scentsy, so I'm not surprised that she bought that product but that was a Christmas gift from her. And another Christmas gift I received is this winter jasmine body yogurt from The Body Shop. This is a, a line of products that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I've been very interested in the body yogurts from The Body Shop, and I was hoping to one day try it. Um, not quite yet, but this was gifted to me by my good friend, Melissa. And it's a beautiful kind of wintry scent. And there you can see it right there. It's a thinner like gel formula compared to their body butters. But I am a big fan of the body butters from the body shop. So I was curious to try this out. But unfortunately, my body lotion count is still way too high. So I need to charge some points against my low buy for this product coming in. 
So that is everything that came in over the past month. It's a lot. It's seven products. It's actually eight products, but I'm only counting seven against my low buy bank. So that means 14 points are going against my low buy, which brings my low buy balance to negative 104.5. We are back in triple digits, guys. I told you it was going to be a bumpy ride. I hope you put your seatbelts on. But that is it for this empties and low buy update for January, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.